In this video, we will discuss what are collinear points. So what are collinear points? So when three or more points that lie on the same line, right? If they lie on the same line, they are called collinear points. So collinear, right? The linear part means line. Okay, co right, means like together. Okay, so they lie on the same line together. Okay, so that's collinear. So let's look at the uh, example first. So points A over here, A, B, and which point are collinear? Which points does, uh, which other point lie on the same line of A, B, and A and B? Okay, so it's over here, C. Okay, so we call points A, B, and C collinear because they lie on this same line over here. Okay, this line over here. Okay, so they are collinear. So similarly, similarly, let's look at another example. B, D. Okay, so B and D is over here. Okay, B and D is over here. So which other point lies on this same line? So let's look at it. Oh, yes. Okay, so E. Okay, E uh, lies on the same line as uh, B and D. Okay, so we call them collinear. Okay, so now let's take a look at example that are not collinear. So A, B. Okay, which points are not collinear? So quite clearly, right? A point E or point D, okay? do not lie on the same line as A and B, okay? So we call them not collinear points, right? So A, B, E, or D, right? they are not collinear. So now let's see what uh, property of, are there of collinear points, all right? So to talk about, to find collinear points, right? So let's consider the gradient of A, B, okay? The gradient of A, B, so recall, uh, to find gradient is rise over run, or you can actually take the uh, difference of the uh, y coordinate divided by the difference in the x coordinate. Okay, so let's do that. For A, B, okay, so uh, we take the difference of the y coordinate, so you have uh, 5, 3 first. Okay, so let's do 5 minus 3. Divide by, now because you started with 5, okay, so you need to take 3 minus 2. Okay, you started with the point B, so you need to also take a difference from the point B. So you get 3 minus 2. So simplify this, you will get 2. So the gradient of AB in this case is 2. So similarly, let's try to find the gradient of BC now. Okay. So to find the gradient of BC, okay, I will take the y coordinate of C minus the y coordinate of B. So y coordinate of C is 9 minus y coordinate of B is 5. So now I take the x coordinate of C, which is 5, minus the x coordinate of B, which is 3. Okay, so make sure that you write it in the correct order. So you simplify this and then you get, still you get 2. Okay, finally, let's try to see what happens if you try to find the gradient of AC. Okay, so the gradient of AC. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do it. Huh? So let's look at the Y coordinate of C. In this case, I do 9 minus the y coordinate of a 3 x coordinate of c 5 minus the x coordinate of a which is 2 once again evaluate this you get 2 okay so what do you notice the gradient of a b the gradient of b c and the gradient of a c they are all the same are you surprised Okay, you should not be, right? Because they are actually lying on the same line. So because they lie on the same line, they should have the same gradient, right? 
they should have the same gradient so you should not uh, be surprised okay so this is the property of collinear point right for the points to be collinear right the gradient of the line segment joining the points are okay the gradient must be the same so for a b and c to be collinear the gradient of a b will be equals to the gradient of you can b c right you can also think of it as gradient or of a c right so any uh any line segment joining any of the two points right they will have the same gradient right either a b b c or a c okay so these are uh, collinear points